so for Dopamine Damage Project, it was just something that I want. I was just I just felt like doing. Um, a producer that I work with came, Mondo Fresh. He came to LA. Um, we was at the crib, and we I was just like, yo, let's just work on some shit. And we just started working. And like I said, I was just working with the mindset of how I felt. Like I don't want to make no club songs. I don't want to make none of that. I just want to talk about how I feel, like where my head is at, what I like, what I don't like, like make it clear, like like a PSA almost, right? And um, we start doing that, and then I'm like, yo, take all the drums out. So like, it's like this thing, it's like no drums. It's like, it's dope as hell. Um, from there, that's that was the glue of like, all right, I just set the tone with this song. Now let's just make a whole album about this. Then the pandemic hit, like three, four days later, quarantine. So we were supposed to put out a project. Um, so this, so dopamine damage was just some shit I was just working on, like, I, cause I always just like to work on shit, cause I know like eventually I'm gonna need to put some shit out, and I just had some shit in the stash. Um, so then when the pandemic hit, we, me and my team, we looking at each other like, yo, could, should we put music out right now? Like, what's the climate? So we like, all right, let's wait like a week, and you know everything will be back to normal. Then it's like a month and two months, and nothing's back to normal. Then I don't remember how deep into the pandemic it was, but then the George Floyd um, tragedy happened. And now I'm really, I'm like, I'm definitely not putting no music out now. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's like, I just, I don't know. I just felt weird about putting music out. Like, like, oh, like, oh, check my music. Cause the, the level of promotion and the level of like attention that I want during that time, I feel like it's wrong to like be like hitting people up and posting this and, 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 and there's like, something so awful that just happened but i'm like all thinking about me i just didn't sit right with me personally so you know so then i'm like nah hold off now like now we really gotta hold off and then from the time from, so then i kind of just lost like i said like earlier i was like losing motivation and then one day I, was, I just heard this beat and i was like fuck it i'm gonna just talk about what's going on and like i just gotta just get this shit off my chest so that's when i started working on that stuff and then um over the over time we started just putting the project together like, all right, cool. Like, we got these songs. We got this mood that we've been in, and it's only amplified now. Let's really like go in with this project and 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 really like drive it home, drive this whole this whole mood, this whole feeling home. And um, there we have uh, the dopamine damage. Like eight months later, damn near. You know what I mean? It doesn't feel like it's been not not eight months. Let's say like six or seven, however long quarantine. Been. It doesn't feel like it's been that long, but it's really been that long. And um, yeah, we got it. We got hella videos shot. We got hella content. Um, we still working on more content, merch, comic book, all types of shit. So um, yeah, it's, it's really dope, man. Um, and I, I got a good team that's really helping me put everything together. And um, yeah, I'm excited, bro. Um, I'm excited to to let people see my point of view and and to see like, all the, the the people that feel the same as me. Cause this shit's not for everybody. Like some people gonna be like, damn, like you don't like that or oh damn. Oh well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like it is what it is. Like it's certain shit on this album that, you know, certain certain things that I stand on that everybody not gonna agree with. And I'm uh, and I'm all right with that. You know, I'm it's time to draw a line in the sand for me. I love the whole project, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm more excited for people to just hear the whole thing. Cause like we're dropping a couple of singles and like I've been kind of like going back and forth with my team about that. Like, nah, let's just drop this shit. Like I'm like on some like, yo, I just want I just can't wait for it's like the way I the way I love to listen to my music, because I don't listen to my music over and over until it comes out. Like I like it to be new to me as well. Like, I like to make it and be like, oh, this is hard. And then it kind of just like leave it until it comes out. So then when it comes out, I'm still fucking with it. I'm still motivated. But my my favorite moment is when it comes out like on Thursday night or whatever, Friday morning at midnight, and I can go listen to it on a DSP and put myself in the shoes of the the the, the fan or the consumer, or the listener or the first time listener or whatever, and just try to think about it, how they're thinking about it, looking at the artwork, I'm on the website, and it's just a really cool feeling. So for me, I, I just want to see how people feel about it from beginning to end, all the different soundscapes I got on there, um, everything kind of being about the same topic, but in different ways. Because some of the songs have like happier beats. Some of the songs have 
you know, aggressive beats. Some of the songs don't have drums at all. Some of it, you know what I mean? Some of the songs are only like a minute and 20 seconds. Some of the songs are three minutes. So it's like this whole emotional roller coaster, I guess you could say, or my emotional roller coaster, just how I've been feeling and um, combined in, in one thing. I didn't really have any rules for myself or restrictions. I kind of, and all the beats was just made right there on the spot, except one, Sinking. Shout out to uh, my boy, Juicy. Um, he's a dope producer from France. And um, yeah, we lit. It's, it's crazy. It's a crazy project. 